Hello, I'm John Kisley. I'm Chairman of International Armoured Vehicles 2012. Welcome to the conference and the exhibition. The opportunity for industry to come together, uh, meet ministers, meet those who are export markets who actually want to buy the equipment they've got on offer, to discuss new and innovative solutions to ch common challenges is absolutely crucial. There are lots of conferences around, but there is not another one on this sort of scale that is specifically focused on armoured vehicles, so it fills a useful niche. This year's uh, conference and exhibition are both bigger and better than ever before. The conference, which is a sellout this year, we have 600 delegates. The exhibition has over 2,600 visitors. It's much more international this year. We have representatives from 35 nations, more serving senior officers than ever before. People are looking ahead beyond Afghanistan. What are the requirements going to be in the next 10, 20, 30 years? We can't prepare ourselves to something specific unless we uh, make some you know, magic to make it happen. So what we can do really is prepare mentally and is often present here within the speeches, within the discussions, to be adaptable. We're looking for ideas from every source to challenge ourselves. Do we get our requirements right? Do we have our vehicle right? So I think this, this kind of exchange of ideas is critical for the future. An innovation this year itself was our group of six top industrialists, what we call the G6 panel, who were looking at strategic questions. So you've got the conference side, you're attracting an international audience, a good level in terms of uh, decision makers, industry, associating the exhibition alongside uh, certainly gives us the opportunity to access and, uh, and exchange with a lot of people. Well that is what actually draws the right people, if it would just be a pure exhibition you wouldn't get the key people, the key personnel here in the quality numbers which they are here. It's bringing the two together, the conference and the exhibition, which makes IAV something pretty special. I was told by Defence IQ before I came here today that I meet many innovative SMEs, and that was absolutely right, I have done that. There's some really fantastic visitors doing almost literally incredible things. Uh, I've seen a couple of interesting things. For instance, that simple mirror system. You can't, uh, you know, crack it, and that was a uh, new solution for me. Well it's a real opportunity for us to show it to a wider audience. We can not only talk about the vehicle but show the vehicle. It was very important for them to present this vehicle in London and we don't want to watch in France to say hello guys we're just waiting for your orders. It's a very unique and, and uh, international place. We've had a very busy day. We've seen lots of international people that we didn't expect to see. Lots of interest. We've had Indian delegation on board. Singapore's have been here. Canadians have been here. We have a conversation with the customers and we get new information and we get also information about our competition. So we can provide the, the best solution to the end user, to the soldiers in the field. It takes actually a mutual understanding between a vehicle manufacturer and operational end user and industrial capabilities. This kind of gathering enables us to meet the different communities share a common understanding and also explain about the value, the operational value brought by this kind of uh, solutions. This year we have the innovation stand which is a separate stand where innovative products are showcased by their firms. We've got some awards that we're making for innovation in uh, vehicles and associated equipment. The protection prize goes to Lorica and the standoff RPG protection. Really anybody who's anybody in the armoured vehicles world is here at this. There's a tremendous meeting of minds, people are picking up new products, picking up innovation. We meet the right people, uh, we are talking with the project managers, technical guys. We have such a high number of good quality contacts. We have the technical staff of MODs here, we have uh, design engineers of vehicle platforms. Basically those key people which we have to have to meet to be able to show our products in a very close proximity. We meet new potential customer, we catch up with existing customer and we hear also what's the word about the latest things ongoing on the market. International armoured vehicles, if you're in the armoured vehicles business, it's not a question of can I afford to attend it, it'd be a question of can I afford not to attend it.